Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have not liked and subscribed the channel, please like and subscribe the channel. Today I am going to show you how you can enable the automatic enrollment of Windows 10 machine or Windows Windows machine. And this is the most important right before enrolling any Windows devices um, into Microsoft Intune or Endpoint Manager, whatever you call. And if you have not liked and subscribed the channel, please like and subscribe the channel and uh, uh, you know my channel name if you don't know just go to the google and type alien tag champion or youtube and just uh, this my channel will uh, will show you here and this channel is regarding anything related to the mobile device management apple ios android or windows operating system and any anything related to tips so in this video i'm going to show you how you can configure the automatic enrollment and this is one of the most pre-requirement uh, before using any or configuring windows any windows devices to enroll um, enroll the devices when whenever as soon as the machine will join or windows machine will join or register to the hybrid azure ready or azure ready so where you have to go this is microsoft endpoint portal so endpoint portal as you already know endpoint.microsoft.com you have to go to the devices and uh, and then you have to click on enroll devices and here there is windows enrollment right so with microsoft currently uh, offering is windows apple android there is three right linux is also introduced uh, recently but it's not mature enough as for mac is also there okay so uh, let's uh, come to the topic so i'm talking about windows enrollment and how you can enable that so you see learn about how the seven different way uh, windows 10 can be enrolled into into wow there is seven way i don't know uh, so you see three and three six and then one hit this one for autopilot so i'm going to talk about the first one what is uh, automatic enrollment of course so you have to do this you see configure windows devices to enroll when they join or register with azure active directory okay so just click on that this is the first requirement if you if it's selected none you won't be able to enroll your windows devices into intune so and this is for uh, we call mdm user scope so the scope must be enabled to to some level or all level if you want to allow for the testing purpose you can open for some users and then when the production you can open to all whatever you like and this is for the fully managed windows uh, devices and this is for the mam only for byd devices if you don't want to manage like if someone has a contractor or the vendor or any um, uh, you also want to offer uh, so that employee can bring their windows devices and you can just protect like microsoft is word office or outlook you can enable this right so uh, what is mdm user scope right you see use this mdm auto enrollment to manage your enterprise data on your employee windows devices mdm auto enrollment mdm is the full mobile device management auto enrollment will be configured for azure ready devices and bring your own devices scenario okay so in both so br bring your own here and this one here so you don't have to do any changes here in any of the term of the url or discovery url or compliance url make sure these 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 url or endpoint must be whitelisted at your uh, firewall on your company firewall so that all windows machine will get access uh, or to this uh, endpoint public endpoint okay or, or will the enrollment may fail this is the pre-requirement so if you are doing pilot you have to select yes and then uh, if you want to apply for some of the dynamic groups or for any custom ad groups you can use it like i have some of the window autopilot devices so i can select it so if you are doing for some pilot testing or 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 uh, or some some of the 20 to 50 users you can scope to uh, the selected groups and later on once once you say uh, you want to roll out for all just open for all okay but it's always recommended to select the groups and so that you can protect your uh, enrollment as well similar like for byd as well and don't change anything okay 
and if you change it just click on restore default mdm url and it will get default okay so and as uh, since i have selected uh, this one and just you have to do the save it you see updating microsoft and it's there now just close this and again open back uh, in role devices windows enrollment and that's it you see it's selected now if you want to disable it don't disable it because you want to test it right or you want to have so first thing now you know how you can uh, enable the automatic enrollment for your windows devices so that your any windows devices uh, as soon as they join to the domain or azure active directory their devices will get enrolled into into okay i hope you have learned how you can enable the automatic enrollment for your windows devices to a group of users or all to enjoy and keep watching and subscribe the channel thank you have a good day